guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new video where we will talk about Onslaught pretty much all but confirming that he is leaving Feyenoord and he is joining Liverpool at the end of this season and we are all waiting for the official announcement which could be in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks depending on when Feyenoord and Liverpool agreed to make this announcement but it's pretty much official because Onslaught after Feyenoord in an absolutely sincere Insulating performers beat PAC Zwolle 5-0 and Feyenoord had two, uh, 30 shots, 17 shots on target to back Zolle's 3 shots, 0 on target so Feyenoord played absolutely dominant, scintillating football and Honest Lord said after the game I'm not worried at all about whether it will go ahead the question is when it will be communicated and uh, basically the whole stadium was uh, applauding Honest Lord in a standing ovation and he apparently waved goodbye to the fans and when Arneslot was asked about it he said I think I agree on that that it looked like that that I'm saying goodbye to Feyenoord because of all the rumors in the media I think they are expecting me to leave and yeah that is something we could say so he pretty much confirms there that he's leaving Feyenoord and by the way in this video we will also talk about what would consist a successful season next season for Arne Slot. We will talk all about all the permutation and we will also talk about Darwin Nunez because apparently he deleted all of his Liverpool pictures from his Instagram account after Liverpool fans continue treating him a little bit too harshly. Some of the sections of the Liverpool fan base are abusing him on social media and that's not acceptable in my opinion. So let me know what are your thoughts on that as well. So Arne Slot was actually watching the Liverpool Tottenham game and he even said that uh, he watched Mo Salah score and then he had to switch the game off because uh, he had a game with Feyenoord he said if the official confirmation is there and I'm 100% sure that I will go there I don't think I will only watch the game I will watch a lot of games from Liverpool so he said that he's likely to watch the rest of the Liverpool Tottenham game in due course Arneslot also said that he intended to take Jurgen Klopp up on his offer of advice the German having indicated that if his replacement wants to know something he can call me we can speak about absolutely everything and I love that by the way from Jurgen Klopp and Arneslot said I think it's normal that if you go to a new club and if that would be Liverpool it is normal that you contact the former coach I did this when I went to Feyenoord as well it's more than normal that all the knowledge a person has that worked a few years at that club and in this situation even nine years that you contact him apart from that I know his assistant quite well Pepe and Linders if there is an official confirmation when the season is done it would be strange if I didn't call him then so basically Arneslot is pretty much all but confirming that there will be an official confirmation and he is going to Liverpool, he is leaving Feyenoord. So Liverpool are expected to formally announce Arne Slot as the next manager in the coming days, in the coming weeks. Maybe Liverpool are waiting for, uh, you know, for Jurgen Klopp to have his uh, official last game against Wolves, which will be a very emotional one as well. And even Jurgen Klopp said that uh, he hopes that it will be raining against Wolves, so people probably don't see him crying a lot. <laughs> Um, that's just my assumption and many Liverpool fans are short assumptions but you know tears will be shed and that's perfectly normal because Jurgen Klopp had the best nine years that anyone can hope for a manager to have at Liverpool it was an absolute absolute joy to watch Liverpool play under Jurgen Klopp and to even watch Jurgen Klopp as a manager of Liverpool it was, it was an absolute joy the press conferences the jokes uh, in interviews and just everything about the man I love love it and yes he should have won more trophies if it wasn't for the cheating financially doped Manchester City but you know what 
In my eyes, Jurgen Klopp is a three-time Premier League winner because he deserves those titles. Man City finished one point out of Liverpool twice because of cheating. And you can't say that Liverpool didn't deserve to win the Premier League in those seasons when you were up against a clearly cheating Man City who spent for more than 10 years against the rules way above what they should have been allowed to spend. And of course, the naysayers are already out. Richard Keys, who absolutely hates Liverpool, and I'm not sure why I'm even listening to his opinion, but it's always it's always interesting to listen to different people's opinion, and of course I have vehemently disagree with this guy, but he said that I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of Liverpool fans. Am I excited about Arne Slot becoming a Liverpool manager? No. Am I surprised? Yes. I'm underwhelmed, underwhelmed by the appointment, if I'm honest. I couldn't give you the name of a Dutch manager who has a succeeded in our league yet. There have been one or two goose hitting Louis van Gaal, Ruud Hullet, who have had limited success, but nobody over a period of time has had sustained success. I think he's Eric Ten Hag in disguise. Uh, Richard Keyes says, goose hitting won the league with Chelsea. What is he talking about? I mean, if he talks about sustained success for a period of years, I mean, not even Jose Mourinho had success, sustained success at Chelsea because after three seasons he got sacked uh, or four seasons seasons he got sagged. That's not sustained success. But I think it's not about the nationality. I mean, before Jurgen Klopp, no German manager has won the Premier League before. No German manager has done really well in the Premier League before. So it's not about that. It's about what the individual manager can do. And I think Arne Slot has all the tools to become successful because he can plays in the right style. His man management skills is really, really terrific and he is a great communicator, very honest, very open and he has a good sense of humor as well. He's very confident in himself and uh, he already has a bit of experience. He's 45 years old, so he's older than Chubby Alonso, he's older than Ruben Amorim, so he's more experienced in that way. And Owen Hargreaves said that he's a top coach, Arne Slot. He really is. is. He's all about possession, they dominate the ball fan or he loves the high press and the high intensity no doubt he's a top coach. I just think coming from the Eredivisie, we have seen it with Dutch managers coming over here. They find it very different. I think Liverpool deserves somebody that has been there and done it in and around this level. I think that was picked Arneslot was picked by the data analysis team. You look at the data from the way Arneslot slide play and it's all really high possession, high press. The problem is you are going to have, you see with Ten Hag and Man United, you aren't going to have that over here. You need something a little different. If you play that way and that open, you see with Postacoglu Tottenham, then you are going to get counter-attacked. I don't think he can win the league playing that way. Yes, it's a good style. Look at Ancelotti at Real Madrid. He finds a way and tweaks it. I find with young managers now, their philosophy is more important than what happens results-wise, and that's not right. The thing is, the managers who are much more experienced than Arne Slot and who, has, who are much more successful than Arne Slot, they are not available. Liverpool tried it with Xabi Alonso. He wouldn't leave Leverkusen, understandably, because he has a great project there, and at Liverpool, we are in kind of a transition, so it would have been a big gamble to leave Leverkusen, and also it would have been a little bit hard on Leverkusen who did nothing wrong really and they are having a great project there. Xabi Alonso is unbeaten in 48 games with Leverkusen by the way. They thrashed Frankfurt 5-1 away from home even when they have a Euro Europa League second leg to come. That's absolutely remarkable and I hope that Leverkusen win the Bundesliga unbeaten and I hope they win the German Cup and I hope they win the Europa League because what a story that would be. Leverkusen won three trophies in their entire existence. So for them to, I think it's two or three trophies, so for them to win three trophies in one season would be absolutely out of this world. And I think Liverpool have made a good choice with Arne Slot because he's a young up and coming manager and I mean uh, all these uh, great managers who are now you know legends world class they got the job when they were young at one point and they were given a chance and that's when they flourish. So Arne Slot deserves a chance and I think we should wait until the end of his first full season 
to see what kind of uh, you know season Liverpool had. And another clear indication that Arne Slot is becoming a Liverpool manager is that he said sometimes in life opportunities come along and you have to listen. I've made that choice for myself in the next days or weeks you will see the official announcement. So he's pretty much all but confirming that he's becoming a Liverpool manager. And I also want to tell you guys what a, a Dutch football fan who of course watches the Eredivisie regularly said about uh, Arne Slot. So the fact that Tottenham and Chelsea wanted him before is a clear indication that Arne Slot is a really good manager and uh, many other Premier League clubs thought that he would be great for them. Liverpool is by far the best team Arne Slot could have hoped for this uh, Dutch football expert says because it suits him perfectly whether or not Slot is also the best coach for Liverpool is something of course time will tell but I'm optimistic based on what I know on him in the Dutch and English media there is a lot of comparison to Van Hal and more recently Eric Ten Hag and even though I personally feel those comparisons are completely unjustified for a lot of reasons I do wonder what uh, of course the Liverpool fans would consider the uh, first good season so what is is a threshold for uh, an acceptable uh, season? What is a threshold to call Arneslaw's first season a successful season? First, I will give you my opinion. I think uh, an acceptable season is a top four finish and nothing else. A successful season is top four finish and win a trophy. Even if it's only the Le League Cup trophy, I think it's a successful season. Of course, there are, there are uh, you know different levels of successful season. Winning an FA Cup or uh, one of the big, gun big ones would be a marvelous first season, legendary first season. If he wins the Premier League or the Champions League in his first season, that would be an absolutely legendary season. And Arne Slot would insta instantly become a cult hero and a Liverpool legend. An acceptable season would be qualify for the Champions League and play some very exciting attacking football, score a lot of goals and probably we will concede as well because Arne Slot uh, defensively he needs still to get better especially in the Premier League but also it depends on what kind of squad we will have and what kind of injuries we will have throughout the season because that would of course uh, change the perception around the fan base if we have eight or nine injuries throughout the whole season then it's different than if we had a season like Arsenal had where they hardly ever had any injuries and also it's important how you do against uh, you know the big teams so even if Liverpool finish in the top four, but if we do badly against the big teams and if we lose the Merseyside derby against Everton and if we lose to Man United, that uh, wouldn't be a um, quite acceptable season. But if we finish in the top four or even top three and we do well against the big teams uh, or at least not lose against them and we, if we beat Everton in the Merseyside derby, then I think that would be a more than uh, acceptable season. And Jurgen Klopp wasn't judged based on what uh, he was one in the first season. He immediately changed our playstyle. He beat Chelsea in the first game at Stamford Bridge as a manager and he beat Man City at the Etihad as well. So that gave Liverpool fans hope. Under Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool can win these big games. And also try to challenge for the league title or still be in the conversation in March around, you know, the top two of Arsenal and Man City. We need a cup run either in the Champions League or in the FA Cup or in the League Cup, so either reach the semi-finals in any of those competitions. A strong performance in the Champions League is absolutely a must, so at least the quarter-finals, depending on, of course, who we get. If we get uh, Real Madrid in the last 16 and we go out, then that would be, of course, disappointing, but I could understand that. And, of course, secure Champions League football for the following season. And show some signs that you are building a new team, a new squad in terms of playing style. Also show a clear identity, a clear playing style of how you want to play. And that's what I'm most confident about because Arne Slot has a very clear playing style and identity. So I'm already looking forward to next season and very excited about it as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.